like seven texts You didn't reply, it's okay I guess You found a guy, I'm not impressed You wasted my time, on to the next Yeah, your world's gonna crash down <laughs> Now that I'm not in it, see I do not care where you're at now, yeah I'm happy we ended My music is dark, sorry my life ain't pretty Never had friends, not a family Really just me and my thoughts And they always stick with me If my head is down, it's cause I'm overthinking Nobody gets me, but you, you give me meaning So I was happy when you started to see me Girl, we were so perfect, I gotta be dreaming Till I woke up like, why the fuck did you leave me? I met this girl named Sarah, I thought she was real Thought she loved me, thought she cared how I feel just to find out that she doesn't, she wasn't the one I wonder if you think of me still Hey guys, hey so today on Big Sport We are here back again at ANZ Stadium Yes, this place does look familiar We were here last night to Australia New Zealand For the Bledisloe Cup match Go! 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 Finally! <laughs> Let's not talk about that, it's not remind us. If you haven't checked out that vlog, go and check that one out because you know it's still a bloody good vlog, it's still a bloody good game. Well, it's a good game for the first half. I wish the game ended for the first half. Let's not talk about that. Today, guys, we are here for the Canterbury Bulldogs versus New Zealand Warriors game. It's not really that big, but it does affect the table in different parts. Obviously, the top eight is pretty much set now with the Tigers losing the Dragons to the Warriors being eight. They're kind of safe, you know. You can't 100% say that they're safe because if they lose today, the Tigers do have the slight possibility, provided the Warriors lose every single game and Tigers win every single well, last two games anyway. The Tigers win their last two games and fix their points differential up. In comparison, however, the Bulldogs in 14th position equal last in 16th. But their for and against is actually better than the Cowboys and Parramatta. So they're in a really, really hot race for the spoon right now. And they need to win this game. Otherwise, they definitely have a big chance of receiving the wooden spoon, which obviously every club does not want because that's the last place. The Bulldogs come into this match after a very unconvincing, very disappointing loss to the Manly Seagulls. You know, they were up at half time. Manly flew home in the second half, which got them the win, which actually got them away from that wooden spoon section. So that was a big game between some cellar dwellers last week that, that proved that Manly probably going to avoid the spoon and Bulldogs are still in that race. There's not much to really be positive about for the Bulldogs this year. It's just been an absolute mess. It's been like that for the last couple of years. Hopefully, maybe sometime next season, you know, maybe next season they could do a little bit better. You know, you'd, you'd hope so. But for now, there's not much really to hope for besides avoiding that spoon. And it's funny when you start celebrating and getting happy from avoiding that last place but yet you still come 14th. I don't know, trust me, I know all about that. I know, I know all about that. The Warriors on the other hand got a decent win against the Knights. That is a really positive result for them going into the finals. If they can win today, that's going to be really a massive boost. That will put them into 7th position above the Brisbane Broncos and then they are actually going to be equal 4th. Forward and against wise, they are going to be 7th but equal 4th which is just massive because that top 8, the actual top 8 itself is really, really close. But if they win today, they have a really good chance of potentially getting a home final. On Instagram, I've got to come one of you guys saying, why do you never go for the Warriors? Well, firstly, it's because usually I go for the home team and I haven't been over New Zealand yet. And secondly, the reason why I'm going for them today is because I actually want to go over New Zealand. I want to go over New Zealand for a home finals match, and if they win today, they've got a really good chance of that. And also, it avoids the Bulldogs going above the Titans, because you know, that's a positive. <laughs> that's a positive. But I'm just hoping for a good game. I think Warriors should come out quite convincing winners, but you know, they are one of the most inconsistent teams in the NRL, and we all know that. But let's head inside, let's have some fun, let's soak up some atmosphere, let's live your passion, son, and let's have a good game, boys. Come on, Warriors. Before the game here, and I'm here with a couple of Warriors, boys, Benaya and City. Boys, what do you reckon about the game today? Oh, well, let's take a what do you think, um, I'll, go, I'll go to you and I, what do you reckon about the Warriors this season? Obviously it's been a bit inconsistent, but they haven't made the top eight. What do you reckon? Do you reckon they've got a good chance of winning this year? Yeah. Tell us, mate, what do you reckon about the game today? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, think, I think we've got it for the best. Yeah. Obviously the Warriors are known as quite an inconsistent team, however this is the Bulldogs. Yeah. They are trying to avoid the spoon though. What do you, what, what do you think about the game today? Do you think it's going to be a solid win or a very tight one? Nah, I think it's a solid, solid win. We're, we're going for the top four. Yeah. And I think we'll take it. Who's the player that really needs to stand up today and just take control of the team? Yeah, I'm here with my classic Warriors fan. Mate, what do you reckon about the game today? Well, I think it's going to be a uh, Warriors all day, yeah, I reckon, mate. You know, they've been playing good in the last couple of weeks. And, um, yeah, hopefully they're going to come out on the floor today. So after the last couple of weeks, do you think they're really building some momentum going into the finals? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Well, yeah, you know, I think they are. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Obviously, the Bulldogs are kind of trying to avoid that spoon, though. Do you think they could cause a little bit of a close game, or do you think Warriors are just too good? Nah, not at all. I think they're going to get pumped. Today. Yeah. Going into the finals, do you think the Warriors have a decent chance of actually winning it all? Um, 80 
Tini. Yeah, oh, I, think, I think the reaction tells everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, short kick up. Short kick.
this out, but they're wise and don't look like they're going to go for a field goal. No, the field goal stopped. The oh, they got it. Oh, he got it. Wow. That's a great kick. Wow, that's a great kick. Now it's 30 out, but wide and against the wind. That's a great kick, man. Wow. The dogs win. Anyway guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you'd like it, please give a big thumbs up so know that you're enjoying this content. We have got an absolutely horrendous tra track record right now over the last couple of weeks. I tell you, I've sort of winning team once in the last couple of weeks and that was the Broncos who obviously, you know, aren't my favourite thing in the world. The thing is here at Big House Sports, we're all about the game day experience and really showing off how notification bell so you get notifications every time we upload. Hopefully we can get back in the winner's circle next weekend. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching.